The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Using the same figure as example one, we can also introduce an idea called a ray. For example, ray AC. which includes point A and all the points on the line in the direction of point C. Ray AC can be represented using the points A and C with an arrow drawn over them pointing to the right. Note that A is called the endpoint of the ray and C indicates the direction. When representing a ray, note that the first letter used is always the endpoint, which in this case is A, and the second letter used always indicates the direction, which in this case is toward point C. So let's say we have a CA with a little arrow over it. In this case, since the first letter is C, our endpoint would be at C. And since the second letter is A, the ray would go in the direction of point A. So ray CA is going to the left. Note that when representing a ray, such as ray CA, the small arrow always points to the right, even if the ray itself is going to the left. 